to my channel. My name is Felicia Mezadu, your guide to help you design the best version of you by looking and feeling your best. I want to tell you guys that this is the first of many makeup tutorials for 2018. I really, really, really want to offer more makeup content on this channel. I really love makeup. I've always loved makeup. It was one of the main reasons why I started this channel. And I feel like I don't offer that much makeup content on this channel um that really concerns me kind of saddens my heart a little bit so i am really going to make an effort to offer more uh content when it comes to just makeup applying makeup and technique and i want to learn more I want to learn more, I want to become better, I want to master the technique of makeup application and just uh, just like tips and tricks here and there and the only way to do that is to keep practicing and um, I really feel like being able to do it on camera helps me to practice so I am going to definitely be offering more makeup videos on this channel. This makeup look that I have on today is more of like a warm bronzy look and I thought that it would be really cute to do. I kind of did it on the whim. I've always been the colors that I'm working with. I've worked with these matte colors for a long time but then I decided to do like a bronze lid. So there you have it and if you want to see how I got this look then please stay tuned. Now girl, if you are ready to collect all your hopes and dreams and possibly even bay for 2018, well let's get into this tutorial. So the first thing that we are going to have to do, my ladies, is moisturize. I do suffer from dry skin in the winter and I have a oily combination situation going on. So I get like oily in the T-zone area and then I also get very like wicked dry patches right here as you can see I don't know if you guys can see that but I get dry patches it's just something that I have to deal with in the winter I mean I typically stay dry there but like in the winter I suffer profusely so um I do have to moisturize but you should just be moisturizing period don't skip out on it it will do good things for your life so I have the Shea Moisture 100% Virgin Coconut Oil. If you guys saw my skin haul, you know that I am using this now and I absolutely love it. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely love it. And then also I moisturize with the Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion. It really does help with like the dry patches that I get um, because it's very, I, they get, it's very, very dry and uncomfortable. And I find that right now that's the only lotion that helps. So if you guys know of another lotion that really, really moisturizes, um, kind of like my mild eczema um, then let me know I'd be interested in that so moving on to the primer we all need to be priming our skin to get that perfect base I will be using the black up base mattifying perfect primer or the black up perfect mattifying primer right here and I did a review on this uh, I have been using it ever since I really like the consistency of this primer is definitely one of my favorites I'm gonna be using the black up mattifying fluid foundation and I also did a review about this I really really like it I'm also going to be using a new brush uh, it is the Michael Todd um, antibacterial brush so do you guys believe in vision boards you'll have to tell me what's your what's, what's your What's your take on vision boards? Do you do them? Do you like them? If you do like them, have they helped you out in the past? Do have the things that you've put on your vision board, has it manifested? Let me know, I'm curious. I'm also gonna use this Black Up palette. Uh, I'm gonna use the corrector here. And I'm gonna take this little, this orangey kind of salmon color. I'm just gonna apply that over of the darker areas that I have on my skin so like right here all right what I'm gonna do is take the corrector concealer by black up this is shade NCOSO4 right here I'm telling you this concealer will resurrect you from any type of hangover if you've been up all night nursing the baby if you've been up all night doing an overnighter because you know you was Netflix and chilling instead of writing that paper, you are going to love this concealer. Black Up Double Ended Contouring Stick. I am going to apply this underneath my eyes, the lighter concealer. 
also on top of the eyelid. And I'm just gonna blend that in with my fingers. So guys, I don't know if I said this already, but tell me what you're most excited for for 2018. I'm probably most excited because I set a goal to move. So um, I'm staying in the Cal in California, but I have set a goal to just move um, to a different location. Um, so I am really excited about that. I'm just gonna take this buffing brush. It is the Real Techniques buffing brush because I told you they are always winning. And I'm just gonna buff that in underneath the eyes. I'm just taking this Real Techniques foundation brush and I'm just going to lightly place that on the top of my cheekbone area because this is very pigmented and I don't want to like have a muddy look to it. I'm going to take this Real Techniques sculpting brush because Real Techniques is always winning. And I'm just going to buff that contouring color into the skin. <clears throat> Next thing I'm gonna I'm going to do is take the Sasha Buttercup setting powder and I'm just going to apply that underneath my eyes. And this is from the Sonic some Sonic. This is from Sonia Kashek Tools number 20. Also taking my Real Techniques sponge and I'm just gonna use that to set the powder as well. And I did wet my Real Techniques sponge. And I think just doing this step just helps to really make the setting powder look more silky in my opinion. I'm stuck on this silkiness. Um, I don't know. It just gives it, it makes it look like butter underneath the eyes, honestly. So the next thing that I'm going to do is use this medium deep face powder by CoverGirl Queen, also known as Broke Sci-Fi. Oh, Kappa Phi, get a new one. Let this be a lesson to yourself to update your products regularly when you can, but we still going to go ahead and use it. And I'm going to go ahead and place that underneath my eyes here. And I'm just using this Echo Tools brush. I'm also going to take a little bit of the matte definition powder from Black Up. This is more up to speed. So I'm just going to place that in the areas where it'd be too much of that shining, 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 shining. Go ahead and mattify that shine. You don't need all that shine. All right. So I am going to now move on to my brows. Um, my eyebrows are in need of a blessing. Um, I don't know any other feature on my face that tries to try me as much as my eyebrows. I mean, they really try me. I don't I don't know any other feature, do you? Because they, they just be trying me. They try me every single time I do them. So um, what I'm going to do is use this NYX eyebrow pencil and I'm going to also go in with a concealer and I will also be going in with um, probably the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyebrow gel. Um, so that's what I'm going to do off camera. I'm not going to do them on camera because it's just a sin to be showing you the whole entire step. The process is just wicked and I can't do it. Um, and so let me do that and then I'm come, I'll come back on camera and then we can do the eyes. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the eyes. And I've already had like foundation and concealer on the eyes. So that's going to act as my base. But the first thing that I'm going to do is use the CoverGirl Queen to set it. And that's going to add like some natural color. And it's going to help to build the colors that we're going to use. I'm also going to take this um, Merle Norman brush. And just pack that on the eyelid there. On the mobile lid. Guys, I am filming on a hot 
winter day. I wanted to say summer, but it is not summer. It is winter here. And I'm filming and it is hot outside. I'm very uncomfortable, but I will do just about anything for you guys. Okay, so going into this palette right here. This is my custom palette. It's a Z palette. I got this from Makeup Geek. And I have a few shadows in here. So the first thing that I'm going to do is take this warm brown shadow right here. Um, it has like a red undertone to it. This one here. And I'm just going to pack that into the crease. Or the socket of the eye. That I'm going to do is go into this eyeshadow right here by Makeup Geek. I'm going to plug that into the crease as well and then I'm just going to kind of haze it out and I am using the Sigma brush this is the E40 I believe it's like one of the best blending brushes on the in all of the land going back into this palette here I'm going to take this color right here this is the cherry cola eyeshadow right here that is also by makeup geek makeup geek makeup geek <laughs> also by makeup geek just gonna plug that into the outer corner of my eye I'm also gonna take a little bit of bitten and I'm just going to place that into the socket of the eye as well. I want this to be like a really deep burgundy type of warm eyeshadow look. Then taking this brush from Sonia Koshak, it's pretty random. I'm going to go back into Coco Bear and just buff out those colors. Then I'm also going to go back into Sienna, the first warm brown shade that I used. And I'm just going to keep buffing that out. I'm going to take this red okra color from my Anastasia palette. And I'm just going to put that on the mobile lid with the same E40 brush. Then on top of that, I'm just going to get a little gully. I'm going to place this L'Oreal Unfollowable Color. It is the bronzed taupe. I'm going to take my finger and just place that on the center of the lid. Then taking a blending brush, I'm just going to make sure everything is blended effortlessly. I'm just going to place a little bit more of that color into the outer corner. And now I'm going to add some eyeliner. This is, I'm using the Wet n Wild Eyeliner Cream Eyeliner Little Black Dress. I'm going to take this pro angled liner brush by Sephora and start to make a wing liner. Now I'm going to apply some lashes and here's the thing for the majority of the beginning of my YouTube career I would go lashless because I don't feel like lashes really flatter me that well um I don't get me wrong I wear them from time to time but they're not my favorite to pop on like lashes is probably the 
least favorite thing for me to do for one they take like five years for me to put on and two I just they, they don't flatter my eyes and I feel like I have to get the right lash so at the end of the day I really want to be known for spreading positivity and beauty guidance into the universe and not for wearing the Morticia Adams lace wig lashes I'm not going to be applying those we're gonna go with some half ones today is that gonna be all right with y'all because that's what I'm gonna do so I typically like to wear just like these cheap eBay lashes and then I'll cut them in half and then I'll wear like the half lashes and then they just like, I do myself a really good service doing them. Okay, so my lashes are on. Now I'm gonna go back into the L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadow that we used on the eyelid, which is bronzed taupe. And I'm just gonna plug that into the inner tear dot here. Now my inner tear duct's kind of water, something wicked. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of not like focus so much on like that inner corner where it like waters up. And I'm just gonna take it a little bit out, a little bit further. My tear, I take that back. My tear duct's probably try me just as much as my eyebrows do. Like I don't, I don't know any other two features that try me as much as my eyebrows and my inner tear ducts every time every time and now I'm gonna go underneath the eyes and I'm going to plug in this eyeshadow which is just bitten and I'm gonna uh, plug this underneath my eyelashes and okay so I'm just plugging that underneath my lash line just to add some more color and just to really play up the eyes and the warmthness and like that whole burgundy red color But I also have to be careful with this color and making sure that I'm not dragging it too far down because it can start to droop the eyes, especially if you have like an eye shape like mine. So just kind of like plugging it like right on the lash line and not too much further down. We're trying to slay. Okay, so that's what the eyes look like for right now. Now I'm going to just apply some mascara. Okay, so now I'm going to take this Terracotta um, Bronzer by Ghirlalon. And this is 08 Ebony. I'm going to take, again, taking this Real Techniques Sculpting Brush. I'm just going to bronze up the skin. So just using that around the perimeter of my forehead, a little bit closer to the temples, along the cheekbone area where we contoured. That's just going to bring some warmth and color back into the skin. And then I'm going to use this Echo Tools uh, Kabuki brush and just buff that out. So it has more of a natural um, airbrushed look to it. I'm going to take this color. Uh, it's La Femme. I honestly don't remember what. I think it's called Russet. I'm going to take this color and I'm just going to apply that to my cheekbones. I mean, not to my cheekbones, but to um, my cheeks and just blend upwards. And I'm using the Real Techniques contouring brush to do that. You can use this. Um, it has like multiple uses. So you don't have to just use it to contour. I actually hardly ever use this to contour. All right, so for my highlighter, I'm going to go ahead and use the Bronze Glow by Bobbi Brown. This right here will get your water bill paid, your electricity bill. If you got soccer fees for the kids that need to be paid, this will help you with that. So what you're going to do is you're just going to place that on your cheekbone like nobody's business. The highest point of your cheekbone, okay? And you're going to blend for dear life. Things should just kind of be married into one another. So it looks, there's no harsh lines and it just looks effortless. And I'm again taking the Kabuki brush to do that. So for 
for the lips, I'm going to take this Chestnut Lip Pencil by MAC. Then I'm going to take the Maybelline Touch of Spice. Then I'm going to take the L'Oreal Nude Ballad. And just for kicks, I'm going to layer that with Nude Touch by Milani. And I just placed a little bit of that in the center just to give it more of like a glossy effect. And make it more pouty. As if my lips can get any more pouty <laughs> naturally, but um, you know. Sometimes I just want to be extra AF. So that's what we did. Uh, and this honestly is the finished look. I just need to take down my hair. And girl, we're going to wow them. We're going to wow them today. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe so you can see more videos like this. Let me know how you feel about me offering more makeup content on this channel. I mean, I'm still going to do it if you say you don't want to. But I'm just curious to know, like, do you guys, like, what do you think about that? Um, because your opinion does matter. But at the same time, I have to stay true to myself and what makes me happy. And I do want to offer more um, makeup content on this channel but I'm just curious to see like what what like are you guys gonna watch if I'm in it alone I understand I mean I'm just gonna uh, I'll keep applying makeup if I'm in it alone if only like five or ten people are watching I'm still gonna do it but you know if more people are going to watch I'm curious I want to know so um thank you so much for watching again if you're not a subscriber please subscribe so you can see more videos like this don't forget to comment like and share follow me on Instagram favor peace and blessings Happy 2018. I hope that you get everything that you desire for this year. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.